My name's Aaron Massey and welcome back to another episode of Homeschool. Today's project is how to install laminate flooring. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you can expect to drop while tackling the project. This one is really easy. Installing a laminate floor is an easy project you can knock out in a couple hours or in a weekend depending on the size of the room that you're working in. Buy the flooring a few days in advance and let it sit in the room that you're installing it in to let it get acclimated to the humidity in your home before you install it. The first step in installing your flooring is to prep the room that you're installing it in and remove any existing carpet or baseboard. It's important that your floor is level, so keep that in mind and check for level if you need to. With the exception of carpet, most flooring surfaces are okay to cover if you choose to. Next, you're ready to start laying out the flooring to check the fit of the room. I like to lay out a bunch of pieces to test it. If you're working in an oddly sized or shaped room, it may be beneficial to find the longest point and snap a straight chalk line. In this case, I'm working in a pretty small rectangular room, but I can see that if I lay it out without making any initial cuts, I'll only have a small strip of flooring on the far wall, which I don't want. So to split the difference, I can rip the first few pieces of the flooring from the tongue side by a few inches, and that will give me an even sized piece against each wall. Make sure you rip from the tongue side and not the groove side of the flooring when making your rip cuts. We're ready to move on to the next step, which is installing the underlayment. The underlayment works as both a moisture barrier and a pad to soften the feel of walking on it. Follow the instructions on your underlayment and remove the adhesive strip to overlap at each seam if it's called for. Next, it's time to lay out the first course. Using a laminate install kit that comes with spacers, I drop a few spacers between the wall and flooring to keep a small gap. It's important to keep the gap to allow the floor to expand and contract. If you don't, the floor can expand and cause it to buckle at the joints. I also find it's helpful to have an extra set of hands to install that last piece for you. Good work, partner. With the first row installed, it's just a matter of snapping in each piece as you go and tapping them in place with a tapping block and pole bar that come with the install kit. Make sure to stagger the seams on the floor and get each joint tight before moving on to the next piece. When you reach doorways, notch out each piece around the frame and center the pieces inside the center of the door jam so you can come back in and install a threshold later if you're not going to continue the flooring into the next room. When you reach the wall in each course, cut each piece to length, leaving a small gap where you can insert your spacer. This gap around the room will all be covered up later with your baseboard, so it's not a big deal. Work your way all the way through the room until you are finished. That's all it takes to add a laminate floor to your room. It's an inexpensive way to get a really nice look. Laminate floors have come a long way in the last 10 years. I find it's a little bit easier to have an extra set of hands so one person can do the cutting and one person can do the install, but it's also a job that you can easily tackle by yourself. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and follow me on social media via the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Today's project is how to unclog a shower drain using a shop vac. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're going to drop while tackling the project. This one is pretty f***ing easy. A shower is supposed to leave you feeling clean and refreshed. And a shower that doesn't drain properly or is completely backed up can leave you feeling anything but.